you're human, you experience pain. If you're a human, you have the capability to experience joy. And they also say that the deeper you feel and the more pain you feel, the bigger your capacity for joy and happiness. So that's good. Sensitivity is a good, beautiful thing. So embrace it, start celebrating you. And if somebody doesn't celebrate you, don't go around that person anymore. If somebody's not celebrating you, stop celebrating in front of them. They have not made it a safe place. We keep going back to try to prove, oh, la la, thinking it's gonna change. It's not gonna change. Go celebrate with someone who can celebrate with you and experience that joy with you. You deserve that. As far as getting over a breakup, if it's something that you're 100% positive, like it needs to end and it needed to end like a long time ago, keep thinking and imagining why you broke up with them in big bright colors. Keep picturing what the reason why to stick with it. Oftentimes we remember what was good about them and then that's why we go back. It's like, cause we're thinking about what's good rather than keeping our eye on, no, this isn't in alignment with my highest good. This isn't what I want in my future. My ideal partner, actually, he doesn't have values that I value. So, you know, keep the eye on the prize and write a list of your five non-negotiables, things that, you want in your partner that are must, you know, mine would be humor, you know, integrity, the handsome. What are mine? I don't know. My age is, I mean, that's not a not negotiable. I would ideally like someone my age. I would like someone who's driven, that's important. So get clear on, you know, your values and then start picturing what you want rather than what you don't want. And allowing yourself that time to grieve, you know, if you were with that person for seven years, it's not gonna take a week to get over them. And allow yourself to feel joy too. Like if you feel relief from being out of the relationship and pain, that's okay. What if both could exist in the same place? It's possible to be like, I'm so angry and I'm so hurt and I don't wanna be with them, but I also miss them. Lord knows I've been through that. Oh my gosh, that is my experience in the last year, I should say, more so. But even this year, I've had many times where I've missed my ex and, um, and at the same time knowing it's completely perfect that I'm not with that person anymore. So, you know, don't judge your feelings. Don't judge what comes up for you. You're allowed to have both and it has nothing to do with anybody else, you know, but your feelings and that's okay. Mm -hmm.